lot of mystery here surrounding the deaths of three teenagers in Florida over a span of about three days. And it does appear they could be connected, but we are working to gather the latest information. CB Cotton with Fox News is following this story and joins us live here. CB, what sparked this case? Well, Josh, thanks so much for having me. First, I want to add right off the top that this morning, the sheriff of Marion County, where all this occurred, he came on Fox News and he said he will he was asked rather whether or not an arrest is imminent in this case and the sheriff replied yes so that's some good news in these tragic tragic circumstances but this all started some 60 miles northwest of Orlando with a gruesome discovery of a 16 year old girl who had been shot and essentially left to die on the side of the road when officers were found this young girl's body she was immediately taken to the hospital where sadly she died earlier this week. We're learning more about who this young girl was. Friends identified her as Layla Silvernail. Um, this information from a GoFundMe page. On that page, she's described as the definition of a team player and an amazing athlete. And of course, being that she was only 16 years old, we know she was on the cusp of adulthood. Uh, these are just heartbreaking circumstances that we're learning more about. And we do know that some other teens were found. Was it with gunshot wounds? Josh, that's correct. And we may have a map that we can pull up and show our viewers right now. I, I want to walk us through this because this is kind of complex, the way, way, the way these teens were discovered. Um, last Thursday night, officers say Layla was shot and left near a dumpster on a rural county road. And then on Friday morning, a 17-year-old teen boy was found dead with a gunshot wound less than a mile away from where Layla was found. And then some nine miles away, officers were looking for Layla's car. They found it submerged inside a lake. The shocking discovery inside the car, a third victim, a teen girl who had been shot and killed. So obviously um, some, you know, just very heartbreaking to learn these details. Three young lives taken. And so one of the big questions, of course, is do we know if these victims actually knew each other, if they were acquainted? Josh, the sheriff says the victims were friends and that they were together before they died. Right now, he's pointing the finger at wannabe gang activity. That's, that's his exact phrase, wannabe gang activity. And he's saying this may have played a role. And we press the sheriff on what this means. And he basically explained this is a term he likes to use, some of his officers like to use. And it describes a gang structure that isn't very defined. It lacks the hierarchy that you see with within the ranks of established gang groups. And, you know, sadly, the rumor mill has been working uh, working really diligently in this case. The sheriff has even taken to social media to try to dispel some of those rumors. Uh, right now, he's saying there is no evidence of a serial killer or killers. He also says right now there's no evidence to indicate that he says, rather, let me correct myself. He says right now their evidence indicates that all the teens, again, were together uh, before they died and that they likely were all shot around the same time and their bodies were taken to different places. So that's what we're hearing right now from the sheriff. All right. Do we know at this point, I mean, you kind of said that the sheriff sounds uh, like he's saying that an arrest is imminent, so to speak. So do we know how this case is playing out with investigators right now? How many detectives are, are working this case, what they're doing? Well, right now, the sheriff says that their evidence is pointing to leading them to believe that most multiple suspects are involved. Yesterday, we did do a one on one interview with the sheriff and I asked him whether or not drugs played a role in this case, and he said he couldn't comment. So that's another tidbit that I want to add into, add, add into our conversation. But right now, he says it looks like multiple suspects are involved, and they're putting a lot of manpower towards this case. We know 15 detectives are assigned, and the sheriff says those detectives are combing through digital and forensic evidence. Another thing he added yesterday in our conversation is that, you know, sometimes it takes a bit for them to comb through some of this this evidence, particularly digital evidence, whether that is phones or other electronics he didn't elaborate on. But we do know from you know other criminal cases that if they are having to look through some of that digital evidence, 
maybe it's phones, it can take some time to get permissions and access and things like that. So more to come um, as we continue to follow this horrific crime story that has really captured a lot of attention, not only in Florida, but across the entire nation and even, even globally too. Yeah, for sure. It's definitely a mystery at this point and a lot left to figure out. Thank you so much, CB Cotton there with Fox News. We appreciate it as always. Thank you, Josh. Appreciate it.